Okay, let's go ahead and grab these first. Got the raspberries. into things anyways while I'm dealing with this cricket tune here um why don't we go ahead and cover the three new Pokemon in this area shall we shall we shall we shall we anyways first up is the exact Pokemon we're facing right now cricket tune the evolved form of cricket -tot. Um, not much needs to be said about this thing. This thing, if you're looking for a decent bug type for early in the game, you should have already caught a Krikatot by long before then, because you could have evolved it already into Krikatoon since it evolves from it at, starting at level 10. Honestly, while it's not bad, there are, let me, before I say that, this thing does some decent moves like Fury Cutter starting at level 10. And it does know X Scissor and Bell Stinger as well. Fair Parish Song is more of a situational move, which you should only use with Mean Look. And all in all, all like I said, Swarm is an ability which will benefit this thing really well. Technician would help it too, like it is helping my Scyther. But anyways, like I said. Krikatoon, it's more of an early game bug type, since most, most, since later on in the game, there's going to be some better bug types. Next up, only found in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Stunky. This is a poison dark type, which... Honestly, this is a pretty good typing, meaning it has only one weakness, which is ground. And honest, like I said, you can do worse. This thing knows some pretty good moves from leveling up, you know, like Acid Spray, which harshly lowers the special defense. Or if you're looking for better power, this thing knows a plethora of moves from TM. It's like flamethrower and even a shadow claw. And if you're looking, if you're wanting a very good, um, I would highly recommend stench for the ability. Mostly because of the buff it received, I think from generation five. I forget when. It really didn't do much until then. The buff, it there's a chance that when it deals damage with any move, it will there's a chance it will cause the opponents to flinch. Aftermath's not a bad one any either, but more of a situational keen eye. I've mentioned that earlier. Can't can't have accuracy lowered. Plus ignores evasion boost. Yeah, like I said, Stench will be the best ability for this thing. So yeah, if you're looking for a good poison or a good dark type, Stunky is a great one to have for any team. Just to be mindful, it does kind of lack just a tiny bit in other stats, like defense, special attack, and special defense, but you should definitely get by that rather easily. Finally, this is a Pokemon I'm wanting to talk about for a very long time. Bronzor. This is a very interesting Steel Psychic type, and for a very good reason. First off, this thing is a great all-around defensive Pokemon with 
80 base stat 86 for each of its defenses. Honestly, you could do worse with this thing. This thing does resist a lot of typing typings, especially a double resistance to psychic. Unfortunately, it loses its res its part resistance of let me let me just rephrase that. Unfortunately, Steel types got kind of a defensive nerf in Generation Six as it began to take instead take normal damage from Dark and Ghost. And honestly, this had a lot of resistances. Like it's two regular abilities, Levitate and Heat Proof. Is they're very good defensive abilities for this thing. Levitate makes it immune to Ground type, taking away a weakness. Heat Proof. Pretty much makes fire type moves do normal damage to this thing. See, if you're looking for a very good defensive Pokemon that knows some pretty decent moves as well, like Gyro Ball and that, Bronzong's a. Bronzor, I should say. Yeah, it's a very good Pokemon to have. <laughs> I did mention its name, its evolved form of Bronzong. Ha! <laughs> Anyways. Um. Let's go ahead and take this Onyx out. Another Onyx. Okay. I'll play with it. Let's see if I can remember the hidden entrance. Okay, your power startles me. Ow! Oh, not even getting out of it. Hey! Stunky! I was talking about you! Um, I don't think I'm going to use a Stunky on my team since I already used Skun Tank in my Twitch stream of Pokemon Shield. I'm not sure if you guys want me to use a Stunky on my team, just let me know in the comments. Okay, now? Catch a Stunky and... Well, I already got a... I already have Cricketune since I already evolved... I evolved a Cricketot into one. So I just need to catch a Bronzor and I'm good. I could do that either here or... In the Wayward Cave, which we're going to next. Just for fun, let's see what this thing has. Wild nature, so it's got stench. Very good ability. I found the hidden entrance. Togepi use it. Going away to place charm. He 
see about going out there and then going back in. I hope this is the only place I have to use this. There it is. Thunder wave on it. That's how I do it. Yeah, I already, I'm gonna have two steel part steel types already in this playthrough since. Oh, I already have plenty of repels. Escape rope. Very, very, very nice. I was catching Pokemon and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please, please take me to the exit. Yeah, I got you. I'll keep your Pokemon healthy all the time. Hey, thank you. Let's see. According to the Cerebi Wayward Key thing and whatever. Five battles. You look like you might just have the Pokemon I've been looking for. In deep tunnels and caves, there's a couple things you're sure to see. Zubat and Ruin Maniacs. Yeah, you're not wrong. At least I have my Pokemon all healed up. Um, why don't I go after the Ghastly? Yeah, getting Elekid leveled up. Cause it's gonna level up in eight levels. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you have two more Pokemon, including that Ghastly. Yeah, I think once I get through this cave, I think we'll, I'll end it off after I get out of here.
Yeah, I'm just having Ella kid go through these ghastlies. Oh wow, that one survived. Nice! It's a Bronzor! I'm gonna go ahead and weaken the Bronzor. You do whatever you want. Yeah, take out that Ghastly. Well, oh, looks like Scyther's almost leveled up. You know, a single Pokemon I wanted. You're no collector. You're awesome power. It's mystifying. Also, I'm not just collecting. I'm having a, like a proper team with me. So we went through that way. Battle two. Every good picnic needs to keep setting. Good mode in a fun battle. Uh, not in a setting like this. Oh, are you lost too? No, it doesn't matter. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Would you rather get out of here? Because I would rather get out of here. Okay. you to hurt yourself please the confusion seems to always go in the opponent's favor for some reason why nope. do a swift attack just to knock that metatite out of the way and wow a lot of damage on the shanks. Yeah. And there we go. Two battles down, three to go. That wasn't any fun for me. Well, that's a personal problem. Not fair, we're not on the same level. Again, personal problem. Here. Um, then here. And realize. 
buys another one. Hey, and there's an item there which I can pick up after I'm done with this. Where am I? Am I lost? Who are you? Are you a Pokemon trainer? Hmm. You're lost, aren't you? I'll guide you if you can beat me. Yeah, probably not gonna be needed. Alright. Take care of the beauty fly. Yeah, like I said, I prefer beauty fly over dust tax. Didn't even get a chance to attack. <laughs> Or both trainers, that's a start, right? I've said I'm going to win. Well, too bad. Man, yeah, rare candy, very, very nice. to play too? Want to play a battle with me? Hush now, lost little Pokemon. Don't you cry. I'm here to take care of you. It's about leveled up. Go ahead and use a shockwave, call it a day. Cross chop to hit. There we go. You were just toying with me. Who's crying now? Eesh. 
Lots of personal problems. Team 32, double team. All right. One more team here. Wandering around, I got hungry, so I ate some wild mushrooms. They gave me gas, and now I can't stop burping. Arrgh. Look, a trailer lost in Wayward Cave, and... Yeah. Okay. Onyx and a Geodude. Um, I'll try and take out a Geodude with the cross chop. Nice. Hey, Print Club sold up. Yeah, like, smart idea. Ow, way. I'll go ahead and cross chop the onyx. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send Togepi out so it can get some. I can get his friendships to max. Oh, that's good. Ah, ah. I'll go ahead and use a flash. Or, oh, never mind. I think that's all the trainers in here. Five battles. I think I'm getting better. I strayed from the battle plan. I think that's all of the trainers. There we go! Oh, there's the exit. I can't, I want to get to her so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Lucas, bye-bye, thank you. Alrighty then. I think we're nearing done with this. Yeah, I think with that all said and done. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and end things off from right here. So that was kind of a fun journey on this, not journey, what am I saying? So yeah, we did quite a bit here. Yeah, during these last set of episodes, we've managed to defeat the Eterna City Gym Leader Gardenia, cleared the Galactic Building, and beat Jupiter. Did some exploring, and helped the trainer Mira get out of that cave, Wayward Cave. So what's next? Oh yeah, next time we go through this, we're gonna go through Mount Cornet. Make our way through. Yeah, make our way through Mount Cornet and get our way to. What was it? Oh, yeah! Hardhome City and then pretty much. Carry on with our adventure. Yeah, we're nearly 
We're nearly there. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you enjoy my channel and want to see more, why not hit that follow button today on Twitch or subscribe to my YouTube channel? Yeah, and help make my channel grow. Share videos with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or any kinds of social media. Thanks again for watching. Until then, I am AmSmasher93. I'll see you guys next time.